there's anything you're familiar with, it's weapons. <laughs> I'm a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Shorty is a lethal weapon, especially his butthole. It's true, And actually. the ability to stink up the entire room. It's true. Faster than speeding train. Godzilla has spikes on her back Godzilla and her sides. has spikes. And supposedly, isn't she poisonous? Um, I think that there's something like that, but it's like such a small amount yeah. that it doesn't fuck us up or something like that. I don't anyway. know. Some toxicity in her yeah. saliva. Or so you are surrounded by weapons. How does it feel? Uh, it's terrifying every single day. <laughs> Never forget. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and I love Internet Historian. About a week ago, about a week ago, Internet Historian dropped a, a, another one of his incognito mode videos. And a few people have already asked us to watch this in the comments, so... You know what that means. We to have to watch it and well we want to watch I, it I, well i mean i've been wanting to watch this one it's rather long it's about 33 minutes plus so buckle up quite the adventure like a full <laughs> episode of a show yeah unless it's one of the shows that tries to be a movie every time there's so many shows that are like an hour and a half yeah, long an true. episode now what's that Just, movie or not movie that show we started last night Cyber clickbait. Bl- clickbait. Cyber yes. Bl- well, well, I mean, like he's... that. Yeah. That's, anyway, and like, yeah. yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, and you like suspense and drama and murder mystery type things, go watch it. Seems to be pretty cool so far. But weapons are a thing that come in many shapes and many many sizes. There's tons of different kinds of weapons. In fact, almost anything can be turned into a weapon. Yeah. I mean, I'm most comfortable with the stabby kinds, not the shooty kinds. Well, whenever I got put in the nut house um, for a week, my week-long vacation in the uh, psych ward, they took everything from me. Like they were you taking can be creative. Yeah, they were taking shit from me, and I was like, "But why?" Shoelaces. And they're just like, "Well, I mean, that's the obvious stuff." There's like. They have to, you have to give back your toothbrush and all this stuff. I mean, yeah. Anyway, weapons are everywhere if you want them to be. And nowhere if you don't want them to be. Your weapons, anyway. Other people can build them to do whatever they want. But, uh, yeah, it's just... Really interesting, especially in our country, when you start talking about weapons and things, there's only one thing that anybody really thinks of, and you know, it's a firearm. But yeah. honestly, with the right mentality, you can take anything and turn it into a weapon. Like, I would rather keep like a, like a flamethrower in my car than have a gun. Okay, Elon Musk. <laughs> Did you know he made flamethrowers? Yes. Like, no, I didn't know he made them. I saw the yeah. thing where he had it on the. Oh, he took one to Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. I'm I don't watch sure Joe Rogan, but I saw that anyway. Um, yeah, flamethrowers are pretty neat. It depends on like what's the fuel, what is actually the flame. Like, there's flamethrowers that shoot stuff that's flammable out at the same time in order to, like, stick you with it. Oh, shit. And then you're, like, on fire and can't get it off of you. That's the kind I want. (laughs) (laughs) The most damaged possible. I mean, if you're going to use it for that, you're really trying to fuck somebody up. If Nikki was a country, she's the one you don't want to have (laughs) nuclear capabilities. This is the one right here. Trust the land of Chads. Oh, the babe. Lake of Chads. I'm not that bad. We just rage quit at life and go, Red button! <laughs> Fuck this! <laughs> Fuck existence. But uh, I'm really interested to see what about weapons in particular that it is the internet historians yeah, going to be talking I about. I have no clue. Yeah. Per usual. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Weapons. Weapons. Am I good with a weapon? Yes. Am I carrying weapons on me? <laughs> Always. Where I Pistols mine. at sunset. The bullets don't reach that far. Aha, uh-huh, check out this weapon I just made. Stay still. Oh my god. <laughs> <Jesus. missiles. laughs> They're working in league with the torpedoes. Tactical airstrike. Why, what's air supposed to do? All this and more on this episode of 
in the battlefield. Ah. You know, mm. Sorry if I sound weird. It's because I went to the Asian uh, supermarket today. Yeah. Because we bought some astroturf. Fake grass. Yeah, I didn't want to take care of it. So we astroturfed <laughs> some of the backyard, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like shit. <laughs> anyway, the neighbor's cat has started shitting on the astroturf. <laughs> what am I going to I can't just kill the neighbor's cat. I'll, I don't think I can get away with that. I didn't want to get into it with the neighbors either. Uh, excuse me, do you know you've got a cat and it shits on like You can't police <laughs> a cat in the same way that you can hey, a dog. Up. That's right. The cats are a law Turf. unto themselves. <laughs> so I went to the Chinese supermarket, right? Because obviously the thing to do is to buy about three liters of chili oil and then fill a weed sprayer with it and then just start spraying the whole garden in chili oil to the point where it just kind of turns red and then it starts trying to take a shit and then it goes, oh God. It turns the grass red or it turns the shit red and you're hoping to <laughs> like, scare the cat. So, oh, something's going wrong here. This I is... need to talk to a doctor. <laughs> so you know, the grass is looking a lot redder than it usually does. Wait, this is the AstroTurf. So yeah. you've essentially just dyed <laughs> fake grass red. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, you know, the whole place reeks of chili oil. <laughs> and if the cat shits there anyway, then, boy, is he going to have won this war. Could you not have just <laughs> let the shitting continue? And uh... No, it's an outrageous <laughs> amount of shit. He's taking, like, three shits a day. <laughs> like, he doesn't even keep it to the sort of back of the property where you wouldn't notice it. It's, like, right on the front. <laughs> That's the first thing a guest would see. And, and then we've got a cat. And so people think, oh, you guys are just fucking dirty <laughs> why don't you clean up after you so no you don't un oh, yeah, so anyway that's the reason i went to the asian supermarket and while i was there there was some sour candy Ooh. Ooh. that's the full story mm. of why i'm eating sour candy oh yes have you ever heard so of this you've seen the gay bomb right uh, i've heard of it i'm fascinated by it naturally Wait, it, was, it was theoretical right yes <laughs> i love that simon fisher what? is good. <laughs> the rainbow <laughs> i think the bomb. chief idea behind it was okay you make your enemy uninhibited uh -huh. and extremely aroused uh -huh. and then they are more likely in a non-combat situation to start doing it with each other uh, it wouldn't work wait. in a fight no one's gonna go oh what? i'm just too horny to fight then they just start running at their own men in the other direction <laughs> but maybe it's a permanent change you've got your wife back home and your kids what if you come home gay sorry honey i gotta be my true self now <laughs> this might really backfire because it might make the opposing army like even more bonded with one another because now they're just like i gotta yes. save my dude because like <laughs> <laughs> he's great i love him <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking now there's like super elite gay army. It's just you and me, skin on skin, stripped to the waist. <laughs> That are just so loyal to one another that they are unstoppable. Just like rolling in rainbow camouflage. Everybody's just like super <laughs> afraid of them. <laughs> I'm so confused. What about guns? Have you ever fired a gun? Yeah, only a rifle. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. When I was in America, I made a beeline for the gun range. Yeah. Pew, pew, full pew. Hog. I wanted to see what it was like. And uh, yeah, it yeah. turns out, yeah, it really made me feel like a man. <laughs> People do say that, though, you know, a bit dismissively, but there must be something absolutely instinctual about holding a weapon. You'd sort of notice it when you, if you ever go for a hike and you pick up a stick that just feels really well-weighted <laughs> to hold and you could use it like a weapon. I do find myself, like, naturally carrying that around and just sort of feeling good about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's the ultimate tool. Yeah, I bet there's something about that. In the past, the ones that pick up a pretty good <laughs> stick and just walk around with it survive a lot more. Absolutely. They're so loud, though. Oh, God. I can't stand how loud they are. Dude, oh, it's awful. The silencers are banned in most states, I think. And it seems to me like the really? reason that mm -hmm. that legislation has come into place is because everybody watches the movies and thinks that a gun with a silencer on it sounds like... No. Yeah, like it's in Hitman, but it's actually just there so you don't go fucking deaf. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's still really <laughs> loud. I suppose you wouldn't be able to recognize that sound so regularly. No. Can you silence a shotgun? Oh, you can. Actually, uh, Wait, adds a real? degree of style to it. Yeah, the, that the thing silencer cool is a bit shit. like uh, adding a mustache <laughs> to a gun. Yeah, yeah. It does make it look a lot cooler. You got to admit that. A gun stash. Oh, lame. Ooh. Hey, that's like immediately cool. Da -da -da. Like, I even think he becomes more handsome. <laughs> yeah. <to do> <laughs> 
play it again. I'm going to close my eyes and just <laughs> welcome to America's favorite game show. <laughs> no, silence no, no, no. or unsilenced. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, I was definitely silenced. Yeah. Oh, it sounded like no, but I couldn't really tell. Okay, how about this one? That is definitely not silenced. That is that is full wow. hug. Interesting. Silenced. Yeah. Okay, all four of those were silenced. Oh, Damn. You tricked me. I did. You correctly guessed that it was behind a pillow. That's a bloody good one, isn't it? Because <laughs> that wouldn't silence anything. I mean, it might make it quieter for the person who's getting shot. <laughs> no, it, it stops the <laughs> Why spread. The hell else would that work? I'm just going to put the um, pillow on so yeah. it doesn't hurt your ears. Thank you. <laughs> it, it makes it harder silence to it. figure out who did it. Why do you know this? I'm 20 points. A Kevin Costner the idea that serial killer movie. It's just like someone with Dan Cook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we'll use the pillow. All right, Jerry. I'm Jerry? <laughs> so he's got tied up. <laughs> What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Oh, uh, yeah. But it only went up to 102 decibels. 120.7. A CNN shows fully Samuel. This is the AR-15. Right. A lot of people will buy this just because it's cool. Why else would you buy a gun? Is it illegal <laughs> to look cool now? Is that what they're saying? I'm sorry, I, I really dislike the sort of moralistic tone there of just like, some people just buy this gun to be cool. Yeah, of course. Isn't that <laughs> the reason for half the things we do? <laughs> you buy a slightly nicer car, or yeah. you cut your hair a certain way. Did you just get that haircut to look cool? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck off. The defining characteristic of the AR-15 is the speed and power of the bullet. <laughs> That whole defining feature of a bullet is that they go <laughs> fast and are powerful. Yeah, well, it's no good if it bounces right off. Yeah. I do like, who fired this bullet? <laughs> yeah! yeah. What the hell happened here? It looks like a classic, like, GoldenEye N64 bullet hole right. as well. It's, it's classic. You fire too many and these ones start disappearing. <laughs> All right, ordinary things. Let's do gun lessons from people who also don't know much about guns. Oh, no. A little bit. Do you know what the difference is between automatic... Semi-automatic. Pump action. Pump action is the one that where you've got to sort of like jerk the gun off before it'll fire again. <laughs> Semi-automatic's more like do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, one trigger pull, one bullet. An automatic is like do 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 do. Yeah, you hold it down and it goes all over the place. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic, all I do is keep firing. Now I won't probably. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. quick, quick translate then. How do they both look like Tim Cook? <laughs> 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 He looks like Tim Cook and Mike Pence had a baby. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sweet. I don't like the way I can see the outline of his nipples to his shirt. <laughs> I kind of feel like, for the news, just where, like, I don't <laughs> find it erotic. Oh yeah, my god. Is, yeah. What I find distracting is that one seems much lower than the other. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? God, it's dude. a weapon designed to inflict maximum damage. It's a weapon. <laughs> it's okay. a gun. Add. Not enough people are using Oh no. More. So much of their private data is out in the open. I have to show everyone why Lord matters. Da -da -da -da. Huge deal on a three-year plan. Pirating movies. I call the police. Store his whip history. That guy is gay. <laughs> da -da -da -da. He's not buying that for his dog. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. It's like, sorry, wrong building. Oh, no. <laughs> Chinese spy. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> yeah, I'm just tired of being. Did you find some cream for that rash, Sarah? Up, up, and away. Looks like I'm too late to save you hundreds of dollars with region-specific pricing on funerals. Why? I couldn't let you expose my secret. That I actually enjoy playing Field of Tanks Mobile. Wow. Goodbye. Yeah, you could have just used Nord, nobody would have known. He Will Nord survive? Two, two the for one. Will contract be renewed? Find out next time on. Also, you get a huge deal of two year plan plus four free extra months. Yay! How Mr. big Tom is that clip? Incognito. And.
When I was a kid, oh, there was, was a brand one. of sour candy called Toxic Waste. Mm-hmm. You uh-huh. get it in Australia. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came in the little tub. I love that stuff. Oh, man. I've been addicted to sour candy since I can remember. And of course, you know, sour the patch more kids, that yeah. you're told that you're not allowed something, the more alluring it becomes. I was about five or six. I'd sneak some change from the kitchen counter. I would take no, a bit of a side route on the way home and go to the old dairy. And sometimes they would have this sour candy and it was uh, five cents a piece. And uh, I'd go in there and I'd buy like a dollar's worth. I'd scoff it all down on the way home. One day I got like five bucks worth of coins. That gave you like 50 pieces and 50 pieces is way too many to finish by the time you get home. So I had like half a bag full. Um, I'm going to have to hide this somehow. I'll just hide it under my shirt. And I walked into the house thinking no one's going to be the wiser. And my sister, the first thing she saw, she's like, what's under your shirt? I'm like, oh, nothing. And I go running to my room. And maybe it was my mom and my dad. I don't know. They come running after. They go, what was that? What do you got? What do you got? I then like ran out and then I just ran to the neighbors. It was like being caught with drugs. And I knew this neighbor kid. And I was like, you got to take this. You got to take and he takes it and then he hides it under the cushions and the couch in the lounge and then I walk out the door of the neighbor's place nothing <laughs> it wasn't anything still sweating from the sour <laughs> candy as well <laughs> when I was a kid my contraband was a violent horror movies and such oh, no. and I remember one time my dad drove me to a sleepover and I wanted to bring some horror movies that I had squirreled away in my room this is great your mum's cleaning your room and she like looks under your bed and instead of like porno mags it's just <laughs> nightmare <laughs> Yeah, in fact, that did eventually <laughs> happen. <laughs> and my vote got given a stern talk to it, too. All right, the ordinary things. Let me tell you all about the Oh, no. Oh, gee, pa. Oh, shucks. I don't know nothing about all that business. Then you take her boyfriend's face and you put it on your face. And that's when you run into the room. Possibly inspired by watching Midnight Express. Um, I was like, got Damn. the DVDs and I like taped them to my torso under my t-shirt. And I was just sat next to my dad on the, on the right side. So did you get No, I didn't. But, uh, oh, what? <laughs> Isn't there a big square outline on your shirt? I think I put a, like a jumper on as well. If I recall, actually, I remember my dad saying, like, aren't you warm in that? I think it was summer and already sweating I thought if he catches me with Kill Bill Volume 2 oh, under my shirt oh my so did you God. watch the movie at the place? I don't think people were too impressed <laughs> right do you want to watch this? some guy gets his head cut off I know man I just want to talk about girls and stuff. <laughs> we're just trying to have a good time <laughs> yeah. oh, I was hoping I could ruin all your nights ah uh. In People get a fake foot, they lose it in a... Bar brawl of some kind. Yeah, exactly. So they give you a fake foot. So what would you do if you could have, like, any sort of fake foot become a weapon? What would the weapon be? Well, how about it looks like a normal foot, hmm. but then I take it off and it's just, like, one big titanium spike. Yeah. You could, Damn. like, twist it off be... and replace oh, it with okay. other things, like a snooker cue or, um, you know, one of those, like, grabbers. Okay, so this isn't really a weapon. This is a multi-tool. <laughs> I think so. You want like a Swiss Army foot. Yeah, a multi tool. <laughs> multi foot. That would be quite good. You're caught in the wilderness or whatever, and then you've just got a whole bunch of tools in there. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, no problem. Let me start. <laughs> I would probably have, um, it would be a gun for sure. This is when you're in the woods, is it? Well, see, well, I'm next to you right now. <laughs> yeah. I've got my multi tool, and I've just like twisted my axe attachment on, and I'm just like kicking wood. I'm kicking trees down. Yeah, I'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll take your multi tool. You won't have the twisty bit. Yeah, you've got it like a key. <laughs> exactly. Oh my I'll god. Pick out of ah! The problem is like a wheel powered by an engine that if I just balance on that one wheel, I can like go around like rolling <laughs> the Jetsons. Oh shit, that would be good. Like those wheelie shoes, but it's diesel. <laughs> yeah. Steampunk shoe. As a, you know, someone who's completely normal and well adjusted, I have thought about if you were to kill someone, like what would be the best way to get away with it? Yeah. You know, people could have these elaborate plans of kill them and all like burn the body in the bath. Mm. Nah, nah, the best way is just to find them on the street, let off two rounds and just walk away, hood up. Yeah. No fuss, no muss. I think you're right. Mm. Right. Let's plan a murder. Brilliant. Because I don't understand <laughs> how it's done in the modern day and someone gets away with it. Yeah. Let's say I'm trying to kill you, right? Cool. Yeah. So first I have to find your address. I'd have to go... Oh my- Oh my god, did you England. say who? So now Ordinary there's records things. of me searching your address. Is. There's oh, records yeah. of me being <laughs> in the country. I then have to get to your place. I rent a car or I take an <laughs> Uber. And then all along that route are cameras that are tracking the license plate of the car I'm in. And I've got a phone on.
on me, and that's being constantly picked up on every cell tower. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is leave your phone at home. If you're Ubering to your murder, <laughs> I think, like, you... Let's say I Uber within five kilometers of your place, okay. and then I just start walking to your place. The whole route is going to have cameras along mm -hmm. it. I get to your place, and what do I do? I, like, knock on the door, and then you answer it, and then I have to go, like, bang. Everybody sees. Look at this dude. No, okay. <laughs> nope. That means I need to break into your place. What do you do from there? This is becoming so difficult. I, I say you got to smash the window in and make it look like a robbery gone wrong. Bang. Uh, on the way out, I steal the DVDs real quick and just put them in my shirt. Then I, I guess you just sort of take off running. It'll still be a robbery gone wrong. And so they'll still start tracking these cameras. Yeah. They'll just start following the line. We got them. I think you're putting too much faith in the CCTV system. I think it is quite fallible. They're not everywhere. Right. Anyway, point is, it's impossible ordinary things. It cannot be done. Hey. I just think, you know, if aliens are real, that just completely changes the way everyone sees the world. It'd be amazing. Maybe. What, what do you reckon the alien weapon would be? Well, the anal probe is the classic. When combined <laughs> with the gay bomb, it stops being a weapon. It's not a weapon. <laughs> it's a, a medical analytical tool. That's a good point. <laughs> do you reckon they clean the probe between analyzing things? Oh. It depends what the aliens are doing with the probe in. Are, are, like, are they just m measuring butthole circumference <laughs> for their files? <laughs> <laughs> what could be done there? That wouldn't just be easily done with some sort of alien pill or an x-ray. I reckon they pull out that probe, go, this is fucking disgusting. And then they just shoot him one up the airlock. <laughs> they go, another one. They're all gross. <laughs> this is gross every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. This is horrible. You would think there would be just as much mouth probing as there would be. Hopefully not with the same probe. Oh, dude. So gross. If you were going into a medieval battle, what's your choice? Which, you know, they're all on a wall. Which do you pick? Which way, Western man? I've heard a scythe is pretty useless in battle. A mace, though. I think yeah. a mace is good stuff. Yeah. Right. Like, it can bludgeon, it's sharp. It's easy to use. I don't particularly want any of these, to be honest. That's picky. I wouldn't go with a um, scythe. I'm actually not here for the battle. <laughs> just the, the battlefield yeah. is just in need of a bit of a train. So if I could have any weapon, it would just be like this. Sword and shield. I mean, it's a classic for a reason. Let's say yeah. you and me one on one, right? Oh, right. So I've got the spear. You've got the shield and sword. Who do you reckon wins? Uh, I reckon me. Reckon? I've just got to bide my time and get you to stick the spear into the shield. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just cutting your spear in half and you're done. I don't think you're blocking anything with that shield. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, I think I'm poking at you, poking at you, and you're moving your shield around, and then I managed to get just a little bit oh. behind your shield at one point, and then I just press in. You can't get my fingers, though. That's cheating. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Let's see, like, spear versus sword. Spear uh. versus sword. Brilliant. We okay. can put some money on oh, it. Right. Shit. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, he's, he's sticking him. He's going to try and stick him good. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. I like the spin technique. Mm. Like, so you don't know what, when it's coming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, the, the, okay, the charge the is the pretty thing. Good. Mm. As soon as the spear guy has... It was at this moment spear. that he knew. Oh. He fucked up. Got you to stop within spin oh. distance. Yes. It's game over. Spear wins. Mm. The key is not to be spooked by mm. the spear. <laughs> yeah, don't fear the spear. Charge in like a motherfucker. He was half dressed like a bank robber and half dressed like a beekeeper. <laughs> yeah, now that you pointed that out, yeah. It'd give me all your bees. <laughs> Where's the queen? <laughs> fear the sting of bee man. Just back on Maces, what do you think of this? Morning star. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that'd fuck you up pretty good. You know what the problem is with this weapon? It's got so many points, and they're like, if you hit someone right in the head with it in the heat of battle, it is liable to get stuck, mm. and then you're in the situation where you're like trying to Absolutely. pull it out of someone's head, and then someone puts something in your head. That would be a bummer to clean, too. Like, this yeah. thing would not go in the dishwasher very well at all. <laughs> What's the, like, really weak version of this? Like, you could have this ball, but instead of spikes, you've got those, like, fingernail wow. chinos. That would be pretty good. I'm trying to think of, like, a nerf version of oh the Morning Star. Mm. I like the idea of this if it was much much smaller like mm. the head was half the size of a golf ball and it had these tiny little prongs yeah. it would be exceptional 
for serving olives. Oh my <laughs> god, yeah, that's true. I like that. Right? You could take one of these and then you just put like a dog too on it. <laughs> and then you just chase people around the battlefield with because no one wants to get the dog shit on them, you know? That's true. You'll be feared on the battlefield. It's like when you go to prison. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not strong. I don't have the option of like going up to the biggest guy in there and punching them. <laughs> that wouldn't go well. No. Your only other option is to just act like the craziest fucker possible. I have shit on a stick. <laughs> Utterly unpredictable. <laughs> terrifying human being. If you spill, you know... <laughs> Why is this funny to me? If you spill your apple juice right. over the front of your shirt, can you just pop back to your cell and throw on another shirt? Surely. Or are you like, oh, that's my only one, <laughs> and then you have to walk around as the guy with apple juice <laughs> down the front of your shirt. They must have a wardrobe. They must have a place where they put their pants and socks and toothbrush shivs and all sorts. That's a weapon. <laughs> the toothbrush shiv. Prison shivs. Is that like a little Derringer pistol? Damn. Sergeant Hal Birchfield. Oh, everyone had those mustaches back. When are they coming back? I can't really grow a mustache very well, so I'd be a bit upset if that happened. Really? I have a mustache, but it's a bit of a Howard Hughes sort of like pencil mustaches. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? I've got what I like to call the anti-Hitler. <laughs> I can't grow it in the middle. <laughs> I don't know if this the is anti racist. <laughs> okay, c c continue. Have you ever noticed how... <laughs> People from Eastern Europe tend to have that sort of facial hair, the same sort of facial hair that you do. To be honest, I can't say I have noticed that, but I'm I'm willing to go okay. ahead with okay. it. Serbian man. All these men have uh, thick mustaches, so I'm not sure your theory. Slavic holds. man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all falling apart real quick. I'm amazed that you've typed in Slavic man and none of them are squatting. You know what? This <laughs> theory sucks. These people will have regular moustaches. I don't know why you've proposed it, to be honest. It's kind of racial and it's not true. Oh, look at yours. While we're on racist things, I've got one there. Oh, go on. Yeah, please continue. <laughs> have you ever noticed that Asian people. When they park their car, <laughs> always park their car backwards into the car space. That what? <laughs> I cannot say that I've spent enough time observing other people parking. That Here's alone... my experience, right? I live near a pretty Asian suburb. Right, I love it. I love going down there, shopping there all the time. Where you normally see people parking, they just you know drive forward straight in. But for some reason, every time the local residents here park, they reverse in. And I'm thinking, like, is it something they are culturally taught that has some sort of advantage? Okay, in an emergency, you can drive out faster. Is that what it's about? Hmm. Is it like, oh, I want to show off my car? Yeah, look at the front. Much nicer. That's interesting. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it is representative mm -hmm. of a culture that forward plans. Ordinary things bigot confirm. <laughs> oh. If you're done with your racist tirade, ordinary things, I'd like to move back onto the, the topic at hand. I do have an Asian Just because you have an Asian friend oh, does not make you not racist. Wait. Have you ever been to Cambodia? No, I haven't. When I was what? there, back in the day, I got in their taxi and the guy was like, oh, you're new here? And mm. I was like, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> and then he said, do you want to go to the firing range? And I was like, yes. Huh. You can use a machine gun, you can use uh, some handguns. I was like, that's sick. Whoa. And then he went up a level and was just like, if you've got 200 American dollars, you can even fire a rocket launcher at a cow. No way. A you see, yes, right? <laughs> I will admit that the option did intrigue me, but I was pretty broke back then. So, <laughs> and also it would have right. been a bit gross and maybe I would have felt a bit ashamed of myself. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I went, I didn't use the rocket launcher, but I did hock a grenade. Which was fun. Cow killer confirmed. Yeah. Oh, you threw a grenade? Oh, what was that like? yeah, that's great. <laughs> was it spooky? I was scared. The guy, he could tell. Oh, God, this nervous Englishman is going <laughs> to yeah. drop it into his shoe or something. But I also saw the pen where they had all the sheep and cows. Oh, no, their little that's... nervous faces. I'd be nervous that, like, the pen wouldn't want to come out that easily. And so I'd hold it in one hand and then pull the pin. But then I'd also pull the grenade out of my hand at the same <laughs> yes. time. Yeah, yeah. If you were to oh. just play football with a grenade, would it ever explode as long as the pin didn't come out? I think not because the whole point if i recall the pin is creating a chemical reaction with some like a piece of metal that something's connecting yeah 
Okay, I've got a better question. You pulled out the pin, right? Yeah. Do you think you would be capable of pulling that out with your teeth? No. Really? It wasn't quite like a key of a car, but it was like there was a bit more of a mechanism to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Because I've seen that with like, you know, there's Tom Cruise at the end of that movie that's on the screen right now. And he, he's got like a mouthful of grenade pins at the end. And he's ha ha, I've defeated the big bad. And I was <laughs> wondering like, oh, I bet that's not that easy to they do. They are amazing. I didn't realize you had the expertise. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I, I didn't really feel like much of expertise. I could only afford one. It's funny, um, the guy who's editing this, he's ex-army. Oh, really? So he's probably like laughing at us right now. Because I'm sure he's <laughs> yep. got all sorts of experience with like grenades and tanks and shit. Tanks. I'd, I'd like to drive a tank. That would, I mean, wherever lets me oh, do that, dude. that would be sweet. You can't drive one over a cow. Would you go back to Cambodia now? Yes, if only for the breakfast. The Cambodian breakfast is exceptional. Really? Why? It's like pork and rice, but my what? God, the pork is absolutely delicious. Oh. My core memory of the three weeks I spent there was just like getting up every morning and being like, another breakfast, please. Delicious. <laughs> yum, yum. I got to tell you, there's no breakfast food that I like, but in like Asian countries, it's like, what's for breakfast? Well, like duck and chili on rice with some green beans. Yeah, perfect. You're setting yourself up for the morning. Mm. You should be loading up. You, the biggest meal of the day should be in the morning. That's when I start my morning. I have sausage, eggs, bacon, the whole nine yards. So I just get up and uh, cram my little gullet with food. I also wonder whether it's like the cuisine that is in European and Western societies required so much preparation that there were only certain things that you could get done by breakfast time. Yes. I think in other countries mm. it's someone's job to get up really early and cook for like yeah. everyone else you know what i'm saying i know what you're trying to say it's that you didn't drive a tank in cambodia because they park them all backwards <laughs> oh excalibur sword in the stone what's the one that's found in a lake with a that lady? is also excalibur <laughs> i think one of the stories is that when king arthur dies he just like tosses it in a lake Ah, no man can pull the sword from this stone. Mm. These strong men come along and they're pulling at it and smudging up the handle. <laughs> up comes Arthur. Oh, please. Oh, go on then, sir. Can I ever go on the sword in the jig? Oh, we'll all be laughing at you, kid, but go on. I guess he lubes it up and then he just pulls it yeah, out. It's easy for him. If that's the idea, isn't it? That means he gets to be mm. king, which is an interesting system of government. <laughs> I reckon we should go back to whoever's the strongest gets to be the leader. I like that idea. Once in a while, I do see some someone who's kind of weak and pathetic and I think why do you get to be in charge I think it should be whoever's the strongest or who's ever slept with the most women hey now you're thinking <laughs> but how would you prove that you would slip with the most number of women in order to become the king I just like the idea that the, a guy would show up and just be like yeah I'm running for president and here is a list of 50 women you can call them up here's a few kids that look <laughs> like me for proof. It's like a bad list of reference <laughs> yeah. hey can I use you as a reference oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you running for president so instead of having a sex scandal it, mm. it, it would be like yeah it turns out he wasn't having that many affairs oh no he was loyal to his wife uh, what's going on <laughs> get him out of there how hard is it to put a sword in the stone that's a really good point that would be much more difficult than pulling it out of the stone so the guy who put it in there that should be the guy who's the king okay what else we got for mystical weapons poseidon has a trident poseidon's trident good one yeah so he can command the sea with that, can't he? He can, like, make the waves move, make the fish fuck each other, something like that. If your trident mm. controls the ocean, what's the point of, like, the pointy bit? Like, he's not using the trident as well as a weapon, right? Wait, what's the point of a trident? That's a good point. Yeah, actually, what has a trident got to do with a sea? What is a trident? Is it used for catching fish? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I never thought about this. Is a three-pronged spear is used for spearfishing. No way. Oh, okay. I guess it does make sense. If you're, like, going at a school of fish, you, you want as many prongs as you can get. Yeah. What you'd really want is a five-pronged spear, yeah, right? Yeah, See, this is 2D. Explain why it's five better than... No. Okay, hold on. It goes down like that. Yeah, I'm with you so far. Now, if you've got a spear mm. that goes like this, then, oh shit, I missed it. Or the fish was over here, and so I missed it. So what they're doing is they're making two more prongs. Nice. But that's only 2D. What you really want is five, because... Yeah, I mean, oh. I think 
in contrast to this extremely bloodthirsty and violent episode, we should walk through a meadow holding hands All right. into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that for about three seconds until the yeah. editor gets bored. Yeah. No, all right. Outro. Right. First thing I'm going to do is fill in that moustache gap. No, stop it. Oh. In oh. one hand, and I'm holding your head down with the other. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm hacking the mainframe, and um, I'm going to turn your webcam on. No, don't. <laughs> hey, everyone, he's a furry. He's wearing his Damn. fur suit. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm going to be an unsuspecting victim, and you are going to be an assassin. Brill. Okay. And if you manage to kill me, then the episode ends. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm just going to keep rambling. Okay, well, I'm coming up behind you with a plastic bag, manhunt style. Wait, I, you can't just walk into my house, so I keep the door locked. <laughs> That's why I kicked it in with my muscles. I heard that. Now I've run up to my panic room. <laughs> I'm on the phone with the police. Don't worry, the police are in my pocket. Bribed the entire police. It was easy. Now I'm going to put some C4 around the corners of your panic room, and I'm going to blow this bitch up button press. I now open the door with my scythe and, <laughs> and I begin to sweep at your legs. Ah! Swish, swish. Now the hunter has become the hunter. Get away. I'll swat your hand <laughs> away and pull out a funky looking knife. Oh no, it's got dog do on the end of it. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get in your panic room. I'm now running up the stairs and doing a very difficult action for the editor to keep up with. Don't worry, I'll make it easier for you by flinging a shuriken into the back of your head. Yeah, I like the idea that I'm running away, right? And mid-sentence... <laughs> <laughs> We've got to end this episode, and I'm going to end it by ending you. Okay. I break down your door, and I start throwing some shurikens at you. Ah, too late. I have picked up a wooden table and... Thud, 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 well, that's thud. okay, because that was just my distraction for my real plan, which is to feed you this delicious poisoned apple. You cannot resist its juicy goodness. I already had breakfast. Oh, what did you eat? It was some duck, some chilli, and some <laughs> green beans from Cambodia. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. Yeah, I've really lost the appetite for murder would you instead like to hold hands and have a delicious cambodian breakfast that sounds lovely maybe we could kill a cow as well like you did in that Cambodia. is not canon <laughs> yeah i know it wasn't a cow was it a child <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh cambodian shit. refugee they had survived a much worse country and finally made it to cambodia <laughs> The place where they could finally prosper, but then they ended up in a <laughs> hole, receiving the, the bad end of a grenade from ordinary things. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is rubbish. Let's try something else. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, go to your computer right now. Type in <laughs> yeah, to the that's the Corner. one. What happens if I destroy my passport? <laughs> How do I renounce my citizenship? How to buy ammo on deep slash dark oh web. How to oh smuggle my God. cash on plane. <laughs> Do x-rays detect LSD? <laughs> they don't. Save you a Google there. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's like a shitty version of Pablo Escobar? No outro this time. Video is over. What's that? Some weird recommended videos there. What which one do you want to watch? We should watch one of my videos on the main channel. I like watching myself and listening to myself. Yeah, me too. Mm. Is and one of my videos in the recommended? You won't no? believe what oh, I that's did. Fine. Minecraft no, I haven't watched your videos in Spider Man ages. actually no. illegal. It's just me. Um, or do you also have like tremendous contempt for the audience? I hate them. Can't stand them. Like I. I hate the fans. They're the worst. I want to turn a weapon on them and then onto myself. I just want to tell them. Fuck off. <laughs> oh no, the video's still going. Oh my god. Oh. In the lounge. <laughs> Quick, cause a distraction. Quickly. Uh oh. Now the Spanish version of the same video has started playing. Wait, quick. What's the <laughs> Spanish word for weapon? Armas. Armas. Oh my god. <laughs> Armas. Oh, oh, I'm about to do that. Um, <laughs> now I'm doing the in. You're still on my bed. <laughs> doing the Spanish intro, baby. Okay, maybe something like, ah, uh, welcome <laughs> to this Spanish version. It is exactly the same content. Instead, it is a lot sexier. <laughs> ah, a beautiful weather woman has entered the room, and we shall make sweet music together. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> and then just like clicking on the maracas. Fuck, this is gonna be a 10 minute outro. And then I drown myself mm. in the toilet. Yes. Hitman style. Alright, bye, ordinary <laughs> thing. No internet historian, fuck you! <laughs> fuck fucking you, motherfucker! And ordinary things, which I didn't was know that? was ordinary things until halfway through the video. The lady losing her mind.
telling people to repent in the grocery store and, and cussing them. No, fuck you, fucker. Fuck you. Oh yeah. No, I you need to re- you need to ask God for forgiveness, you motherfucker. I forgot about that, that lady. Yeah, that was some bad stuff. Whatever it was happening to her. I don't know. What the what was going on with the internet historian? I you don't even want to get this game talking shit, motherfucker. <laughs> we practically built this channel off of Reacting to your content <laughs> now, back, you're going to turn. Now you're going to turn the gun on us, motherfucker. <laughs> what is your problem? Ordinary things got you thinking these big time things are just ordinary. You need to take me seriously, son. Don't you get on here with the black screen hiding your goddamn face talking oh my shit. God. He did at the end of the video. I'm offended. Are you? Yes. You better drop one of them gay bombs to calm me down. Bro. Okay, so can you explain what is that like actually real? Like okay, what really? So there was a suggested weapon that would make be like kind of like ecstasy to drop on. They really called it the gay bomb. It was theorized. It okay. was never like an actual okay. thing but there's also one that's like made out of weed too there's like a thc bomb that like makes you just like man i don't feel like <laughs> I, you're not really gonna kill me are you bro and then people just kill you yeah you just give up lay down go to sleep like kind me of stuff. every time no my dad actually <laughs> said that to me one time whenever um I can't, maybe I was like 20 years old or like 19 years old or something. He was like, you look, look in my books of chemical warfare. That that stuff makes you lazy, makes you give up, makes oh. you quit and all this. And I'm just like, no, dad, you're wrong. I have never quit smoking weed. <laughs> I never gave up. <laughs> and look at you now. And look at me now. Don't, don't look at me. But, oh my God. uh. Yeah, so there have been some interesting... Well, I mean, just think about what they were doing with, like, LSD and shit they thought was, like, a truth serum. Oh, yeah, yeah. They thought they would be able to give it to people, and then they would tell the truth about anything. Yeah. You know, but really, people were just talking that crazy show shit. that we were watching, and then that dude, like, jumped out the window? You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the dude's son. It's, like, trying to get the truth to be told about his yeah, dad getting experimented on with LSD. <clears throat> yeah, that just shit happened is a lot. Way crazy, way crazy. The, but it's not at the same time. When you get those shadowy organizations that are oh, just yeah. like at the at the will of themselves only, it's just like, what the fuck are they gonna fuck do? All I mean, that. Okay, if you had any weapon of choice from this video, or just any weapon, what would you choose? You asking them or me? You. You guys. It's first. like hold on, Dora, the on. explorer. Wow, okay. yeah, great cool. choice. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> um, for me, I think. Or like, what? What would you choose to harm someone with if you had to? And what do you think is like the coolest? So for me, even when I was in the military, I was a hospital corpsman, so I was a non-combatant. My role was not to. Fucking anybody up. Yeah, it was completely the opposite. Um, so, I, I would use some kind of like shocking mechanism or some kind okay, of like a cow prod. Well, something that no, dude, like like shit that would just shut your nervous system down. That's smart. Yeah, so you couldn't fucking do anything, and then it would like wear off. But That's smart. lethality, I would probably go for the um, silenced handgun. Yeah. With the pillow. Okay, and what do you think is like the coolest? Um. Because I have one. The coolest. I mean, I really like the AR. They're right. It is very cool. I think the AR is a really badass weapon. Yeah. But the silent shotgun too. Yeah, if I was gonna kick, like, if I if somebody was like busting through my door or something, I would want some kind of gun. Well, it like in an apartment, shotgun all day. Yeah. Oh my God! If Shotgun's you are the in one that like hallway far, at all, yeah, then you're like it's I'm gonna eat you up. Yeah, right? it's not it's not a joke. But yeah. at like you know a hundred yards away or something, right. I want a rifle. Yeah. And if it's just like you can reach me, pistol. Yeah, I've, I've, I've never shot a handgun. I've shot a rifle before. 
twice and I hated it both times. I just didn't like it at all. But if yeah. I had a handgun, I think I would feel better about it. I don't know why. If that makes any sense? Uh, I think I feel... Because I have, you know, been trained on, you know, a rifle, shotgun, and the 9 millimeter pistol. I was a sharpshooter with the pistol. Uh, got a little metal and stuff for bang, it. Bang, bang, baby. But, um... There's expert above that. I didn't get that. But the pistol is like just more yeah. finicky. Like oh. the the guns you can rest against your sh- well, the rifles like, and shit. Like it but you have so back. much more control. Like this is just noodly. You really have yeah, to. Yeah, I guess. You have to get in position for that like tighter. And it's just easier with all that metal to get. Every no. time I think of like somebody shooting, um, not a pistol. What is what a rifle? Yeah, it's that girl, and she's like doing it like this. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, you just, definitely will be resting that bitch against your shoulder. Well, I think the coolest weapon is not a switchblade. What is it called? Like a butterfly knife. Yeah, it's so cool. I always wanted one of those, but yeah. I think they're illegal. I don't know. I've always heard that they're illegal. Maybe my parents just told me that so they didn't have to How get is one. that illegal, but like one of those fucking things that you Google. use to cut paper isn't? Or a machete <laughs> or something, you know? Those things are dangerous as hell. Dude, my... So my, my dad went to prison for selling weed in the 90s and he wasn't allowed to have a handgun in the house. Yeah. So he had a machete in our closet. Jason just like Voorhees In status. the hall closet of my home was just like this big ass machete. You also live in the fucking middle of the woods. So. True. Uh, we never had to use it. Um, Thank God. Our no. butter. Most people just use them to cut down branches and shit. Not <laughs> illegal. Okay, so in Virginia, a ballast song is legal for concealed and open carry. Oh, shit. So I can just go get one. You can go get a butterfly knife. I can go order one, I guess. Look out, ladies and gentlemen. If you see Nikki doing solo reactions for a while, call the police. (laughs) Be like, yeah, I've got this badass butterfly knife. And then three days later, it's just like, yeah. (laughs) I wonder if you could get like one of those like chain mail thing, like gloves. (laughs) I look for him to try and attack your hand while you're... That's true. I would look like such a dumbass, like, carrying around. I would have, like, this chain mail glove. Oh, my God. Put some lace on the end of it so it looks a little bit cooler. Yeah. Just do some moves. Get a little rotating. Play that Eddie Murphy song. My girl wants to party all the time. Do a little video (laughs) with your thing. That'd be so funny. So silly. Yeah. Well. What a good video. Yeah. Internet historian and ordinary, ordinary things. things. Wow. <laughs> I know. I was just like, no shit, man. I don't man. Know. <laughs> Well, we've only watched one of his videos, so. Yeah. We need to watch I've But I've seen, I've seen I some haven't. of his other stuff. Um, well, he's been in another internet historian I know, video. So I know. I just anyway, forget that it's him. Good stuff. Very funny. Internet historian, always ridiculous and ordinary things. Very fun to see them interact with each other. Very cool. Um, I don't know if I believe him about not blowing up the cow. Uh, I think he probably he he probably wouldn't have even told the story if it wasn't true. Yeah, you know what I'm or if it if he had yeah oh yeah. Anyway, (laughs) very great video, incognito mode, rocking it. Thank you guys for the recommendation. We really appreciate that. And if you guys like this video you know what you should do you should subscribe to internet historians incognito mode channel it's great these long form videos tons of great stuff on there he's funny his editors are out here killing it he's got great guests i'm sure you guys already know about it but if you don't show the man some love because he he deserves it even though he talked mad shit about us at the end of the video (laughs) we'll let it slide for at least this opportunity to put him over for a minute but if you like this reaction, then you should, what, subscribe to our channel? Give us a like. Hit the notification bell. Leave a recommendation in the comments or in our Discord, which will be linked in the description below, as well as... The original video that we just watched. With that, you have the power to go to Incognito Mode channel and subscribe. <laughs> do it. But for this video, I think that's going to do it. We appreciate y'all. See you.